Hi folks, Kenny the Baby here, back again, and yes, this time, I've got something to review. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit late to the party this one, like, um, it's been out about a month, but, you know, it's something I've come by, so I thought, well, what the hell, review it, give, you know, give you viewers something to, to look at. Um, see, we're all probably stuck in the house with this coronavirus malarkey that's going on, so today we are looking at the smock. RPM 80 Pro kit. I've got this one in. It is the the black stabilizing wood effect, and it you know, and even though it's very plastic, it does look quite nice. So this is what we're looking at the day, folks. Um, usual scenario. Um, you know, I'm going to go down the table, unbox it, and have a look inside there. Come back up, and then you know, just give me thoughts type of thing. Um, before we do dive down with that, the, you know, the usual, please subscribe, like, share, all that stuff, if you like what you see. And also, my apologies, I am stuck out on this balcony again. Um, you know, as I've, if you may have seen my previous videos, we've got new smoke alarms installed in the house, and they are set as a shite, you, you know, they can pick up a fly's fart and they go off. So, for the time being, I'm out here, it's a bit echoey. So I do apologise for this setup at the moment, you know, it's, um, it's only temporary till I sort something out. And also, I'm trying out this new camera. Well, it's not new, it's, it's an old camera. It's an old professional camcorder. It's a, a Sony HV1VE, HV1, so it's like a semi-professional camcorder. Um, it uses digital video tape, um, it does record in 1080 HDI, so, you know, this is a little test. I'm using the onboard mic with it as well, so again, it's just, it's just a shot, pure shot in the dark test with it, saying I'm stuck out here, because obviously I can't get in me, me front room area where I normally do my videos, because here yeah, the kids is off, you know, and then, you know, the computer's there with the external mic, so, and I can't vape in there, so we're out here for the time being, so you know, just bear with us till we get something in there um, planned out or whatever. I mean, I don't even know whether to just make this into a bit of a studio yet, I don't know yet, but anyway, I'm rambling now. So, what we'll do, we'll get down on the table, have a look, and I'll have a bit more ramble when we get back up, yeah? See you in a bit. Cheers. This is where your box looks on the front. You've got airflow adjustable in the new RG. Uh, you've got RM80 RPM pod and RGC pod included. There's two pods in here. The new RGC conical mesh coil is powered by Next Mesh, so they've kind of teamed up with Next Mesh there for that coils. Uh, RPM80 RPM pod compatible with all RPM40 coils, so the RPM40 coils will drop in near the head that's with it. Variable wattage, 80 watts max power, it's got the new IQ80 chip and the 18650 replaceable battery, which again, another good thing. Um, the colour I've got is black stabilising wood, um, just come with the colours obviously. On the side, you've just got, you know, Shenzhen on the side. On this side, you've just got your scratch and sniff and all the usual stuff. On the back, if you want to just have a look at that there, you've got all your CE marks, um, what's in the kit, etc. Warning signing, not for sale to miners, all that stuff. And then basically, this fella just slides off like so. You get your box with your usual smock on there, nothing else on, just bar that little smock. All your warning signs again on the bottom. Lid pops off like so. But it does pop off eventually, put it out the side. And inside you get your, your battery warning card, which is always a good thing. You get this competition card that they're, they're doing now, it's just you win $500 scratch, and probably never happened, but there you go. Something you do, you put the number online, etc. If you've got your quality card, all that usual stuff, You've got this destruction manual, as I like to call it. This destruction manual also covers the RPM 80 kit. Um, I'll discuss the difference. I'll just see the difference with that when we get back up top. 
But again, it's multilingual, 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 multilingual it is, apparently. Um, you know, just the usual stuff. Um, the specs are here, which I always think is a good thing. Um, you know, we've got both the tanks are 5 milli liquid, charging volts 5 volts, charging current 1.2 amps max, charge output 5 volts or 2 amps, output mode is wattage, resistance range is 0.15 to 3 ohms, overcharge voltage 4.3 volts, over discharge voltage 2.4 volts, um, I believe there's a bit more there because this is the RM80 specs here, and obviously as you go down here this is the Pro, the size, weight, all the you know all the stuff there again very much the same so that's that in the box you do get the device itself which like i said mine is the old um the god i can't even get my words out again the black stabilizing wood effect sorry i mean it's not real it's plastic obviously um you get your usb cable which we all know you know put that back in and you get the pods which we'll have a look at now now this is the new Oh, this is the RPM pod, sorry. I can just bring this up a bit. Um, the light's not all our best because it's booming in through here, but this is the RPM pod. Um, this is off the, obviously the old RPM kit. Um, you have two magnets here and your pod that, and your coil there. Um, so this one, this is slipped in. It's also got two magnets holding it in. You now have a clear tank, so you can see your juice level, which is pretty good. Your fill thing here, which is just much easier than the RM40 because I've got no fingernails as you can see and I can get into that quite easily. Mouthpiece is fixed um, coils are just push fit. Obviously this is the RPM40 coil, we'll just pull that out like so. Put your pod down there and if you can just see, see if I can get this coil up for you. It is the RPM mesh, it is coming out uh, oh God, 0.4 ohms which is best at around 25 watts. Let me see that there, folks. Again, if you can see, the, I don't know if you can see, the, if it's a mesh coil, or is it the old RPM40 coil? So it is compatible with the old RPM40s with this coil head. And again, you just line your flats up. And again, no adjustable airflow, anything like that, it's it's open airflow. So that, that there, would be for your old RPM 40 coils if you wish to use them um, with you know your nick salts or whatever your your high nick stuff so that's what that would be for and on this one as you can see it's already on so to get it off you just pull it off it does take a bit getting off like obviously the magnets are very strong this one's the same kind of thing this is your RGC coil oops sorry I'm a mile up there there's your RGC again little rubber grommet there there's a top fill me, Mr. No Nails, can get into there, no problem at all. Quite impressed with that. Again, clear tank so you can see your liquid levels. Another good thing. Fixed mouthpiece again. Um, and you, again, you've got your two magnets, and this is your coil. Here, this bit ring here is adjustable airflow. It's not the best. You know, because it's it 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 goes. It hasn't got to stop. It goes round and round and round. Um, and like I say, when you start to close it, it obviously opens up on the other side as well. So, you know, you're probably gonna get maybe halfway. I'd say yeah, halfway before it starts to open up again. You know, so at least there is adjustable airflow on it, so it is a plus. The coil itself again is just a push fit. I can just. Yeah, I'm gonna get me out, me, me and Mr. No Neil's in. Again, that just, there you go, it just pops out of there. And this coil, if I can get this up to you, so you can see, there's the, where are we? There you go. It's a 0.17 ohm, and it's best at 40 to 80 watts. Um, this is the next mesh one, so I think this is the one I'll use, as you know, it's when I've done the review on the RPM 40, I just wasn't getting, you know, the power that I needed, so, you know, there it is. And as you can see, it's a very long coil compared to the RPM 40. So, what you do here is you just, again, line your flats up where your airflow is, and just pop that back in, and there you go, that's a push-fit coil. 
quick look at the device before we turn it on when you look at the top here you see you've got your two contacts here these are the two magnets and they do hold it in place very well um, you've got an airflow in that ear you've got another airflow in that ear you've got your power switch you've got your up down and obviously your micro usb port um, you have smock road on the side here and on the other side you have if i'm just spin it around rpm pro and you have your battery door at the bottom which is quite a good door for the smock and it's here it's got the CE marks and bin mark designed by smart IQ80 chip basically just slide it forward pop it up and I don't know if you can see in there but there is a plus sign there and on here you do have a negative sign but I would like to have seen that white because it's black and um, so what I'm going to do get this yeah I've got a Samsung 18650 uh, this was the this one's the 300 300 3000 milliamp so we'll pop that in there it's nicely sprung as well you know it's nice it's nice and firm nicely sprung you drop that on there click that back and see there is no rattle whatsoever pop your pot on there you know, it's the usual scenario if you bear with us one two three four five there we go powers on and I don't know how well you can see this screen, like it's really, um, it's not the best, is it? It's bloody light. But on your display, you've got the smock at the top, your battery power, you've got your wattage, you've got your ohms, you've got your volts, you've got your puff count, and you've got your time of puff. Um, it does scroll up to, if you can see that, all the way up to 80 watts, and it does round robin back down to 1 watt, so that's a good thing. Um, I believe one, two, three clicks locks it all off, so everything you know, nothing happens. One, two, three clicks opens it up again. If you press the two together, it locks your wattage, but you can still fire. Press the two buttons again, wattage unlocked again. If you press the fire and the down. It clears your puff counter together. You see that there. It clears your puff counter. And if you press your fire and your your right band button, I've just said down on there. It should be your left button. Yeah, power left button clears your puff counter. Power right. You can scroll through your colours on your screen. And that people is basically it, you know. And it's the usual one, two, three, four, five. Turns it off. And yeah, one, two, three, four, five, turns it on. It gives you that like greeting screen and all that. And you come to that. And when you take your cartridge out, as you can see, they're pretty tight. You know, it comes up no pot attached. Now when you drop it back in, it should come up. Hang on, it did before. It just comes up no pot attached. I think the RPM 40 did say pot attached. But obviously this one doesn't. And that there people is basically it, you know. I mean we've uh, we'll get it all juiced up and stuff um, and we'll go back up the top and have a bit play about with it and I'll tell you what I think and all that stuff. So there you have it. The RPM 80 Pro kit by Smock. So we'll go back up the top and I'll tell you what the crack is with it, yeah? See you in a bit. Right folks, here we are back up top looking at this RPM 80 Pro by Smock Smoke, who, uh, you know, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Um, I've got the RGC coil in and pod um, hitting at 60 watts. It's coming out at 0.16, so it's about, not far away. And I'm vaping on my good old Butter Vapes Cherry Cake Dodgers. So, 60 watts. Whoops, yeah, but I've just dropped some of the bollocks with it. So, without further ado, let's have a little tune on it there. I've also got the airflow like half, half open, so it's a little bit uh, turbulent, as you may be able to hear. Yeah, it's 
plenty of vapour. <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't got Corona before you start. Um, plenty of vapour, plenty of flavour, pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but these tanks hold 5ml of juice. Um, and yeah, there we have it. Um, so, what do I like, what do I not like, you know what I mean? Um, it's actually pretty good. Um, only really flaws that I'm finding with it is battery life is not very good. Um, it plows through the batteries, especially if you're using like this, you know, the RGC coil with the 40 to 60, 80 watts. It, um, it does eat the batteries a bit. Um, but, you know, if you've got one on charge, it's a case of swap one out and swap another one in. Um, Flavour is fantastic. Oh, it's really, really good. Because obviously, the, you know, they're working with Next Mesh coils and, you know, Next Mesh are a good, good brand of coil or a good coil maker or mesh maker, whichever you want to work. These coils are really good. I've got that airflow half full and it's a bit, you know, it's a bit turbulently noisy. So if I pull the pot out, I'm going to open it fully open, like so, drop it back in, get it back in, and see what's like that. Yeah, it's, it's not as restrictive. It's, it's a little bit, but it's not as restrictive. But again, these things have got massive, massive air holes on them. Look, oh, can you see me? You know, I've got some bloody fogging out with this room. I haven't got the window open because we're next to a main road and there's just cars, so I'd probably get blitzed out with cars or noise. But um, this is probably more where you move up from the R RPM 40, you know, it's, it's the next step up, really. Even though it still takes the, the RPM 40 coils, you know, you can still do that and do this. This is this is very similar to a, maybe it's a sub ohm tank vape where you can get the higher wattage and stuff, you know. So for that alone, it's a, it's a, it's a plus, you know, it's a pro. Um, the screen, again, simple, clear, you know, all the information you need is on there. Um, only gripe is probably the smock that's on it. Maybe they could have put a percentage for the battery on there. Um, but bar that, you know, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, the USB charger, it's still using them old micro chargers. I would have probably liked to use the new, you know, the new C type, um, round robins, all that stuff. So, yeah, it does what it says on the tin. It is a nice looking, nice looking. I mean, that's the stab wood. It is plasticky, but it's nice. Um, there are lots of different colours. Um, there's not really much not to like about it as an EIU, you know. I mean, they're seeing it's what well, they've got the box here, they're seeing it's a you know, it's an RPM, which I can't remember what that stands for, and a real game changer. Is it a game changer? Mm. Yes, but there are other pods out there or EIO systems that do that. Um, I'm just touching on. Like I said, the destruction manual for this covered the RM80. Now the difference between the Pro and the 80 is the 80 is slightly shorter and it's got the built-in battery. Um, the pros of that against this is you get better battery life. It's just simple as that, you know what I mean? Um, everything else is more or less pretty much exactly the same. It's just a bit shorter and it's got the built-in lithium battery, you know? So that's, that's the difference. Um, so, you know, but I like removable batteries because I do like to charge them externally. I think it's a hell of a lot safer. You know, I don't like USB charging them, especially if you're, if you're not about, you know, a bit of a risk. But um, generally, it does what it says on the tin. It's absolutely, absolutely mint. I'm very impressed with it, considering I've never had any interest in these at all, once upon a time. That's 60 watts and it's just, you know, there's loads of vape production. The flavour is pretty damn good. Um, what more do you want off it? You know what I mean? It feels nice in the hand. The drip tip is built in and the top, but it is pretty comfortable. You know, you can, you know. But 
But yeah, apart from there's not really much. Stuff. I mean, I do like the um, the new filling mechanism, the filling the uh, port being at the top. It's easy. I mean, me, Mister O'Neill's, I can actually open that. Whereas on the RPM forty, you know, you're stuck doing the end. You have to actually get a knife to open it. So that's a plus. You can now see in the tank, so you can see how much juice you've got. That's a plus because again. The RPM 40, you couldn't see now, it was like, oh, is it empty? And you put your part in now and see if you're empty, empty. So you can see that again, a massive, massive improvement. So, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that little jump cut there, folks. The old uh, door went, so I had to go and answer the door. Um, typical as well, because I'm practically at the end of my review. Um, there's not really much else to say about it. Um, the only other thing I would say is when you vape this, vape it like that. I don't know if this camera's shown very well, but your juice level's like here, so your coil is totally submerged. And if you turn it and you vape it like that, as you can see, all the fluid, is, the juice is now down the bottom here, and there's nothing covering your coil, so you could risk some dry hits, or like that even. So the best way to vape this is, you know, the buttons and everything upwards, like that. At the end of the day, you'll not get any kind of dry hit. It just keeps the coil covered in juice. Oops, sorry. <laughs> it just keeps the coil covered in the juice. So that's could be a, could be a con that you've got to do it that way. You can't do it that way. But yeah, like that. Your buttons upwards. Be a bit like that. So your coil is constantly submerged in a liquid, um, and you should be okay to go. And obviously the big plus for me is the power, you know, I mean, if you want to check out the RPM 40 review I did, I wasn't that impressed with it because, you know, I mean, I'm an established vapor and it just didn't, it just didn't cut it for me, it just didn't have the power. Um, I'd say that one's probably more designed for, like you say, your starter kits and with your salts. I obviously had normal bloody juicing, which again, you know, was probably not the correct thing to do, you know, I think that that particular kit is more suited to your nick salts with your higher you know your higher nicotine content in it so hence being the eio starter kit you know to get you off the fags this one's like the next step up where you can still use your rpm coils if you wish to do so but you can also use the more powerful ones the battery does last a bit longer if you use the rpm 40 um tank pod whatever it is <laughs> forgot what I was going to say there it do last a bit long because obviously you vape at lower wattages um, this one I was chaining it and I was getting about three 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 and a half three about three to three and a half hours um, before I had to change it because I, I, you can tell when your battery's going because when you put new batteries in and see you at 80 watts it'll hit 80 watts but obviously it's a bit like similar to a mech as your battery depletes power you can you can, can you can feel it drop a bit not a great but you can feel it drop a bit in you know the flavor and stuff it does there is a, a bit of a, a noticeable drop with that um but you know feeling that it's kind of mint for what it is i think like it's absolutely class for you know start a AOI, aio kit i mean uh, and smock are coming a long way i mean you can see they've got this uh, this iq80 chip and it seems to be forming quite well you know it's um it's doing what it says on the tin type of thing so yeah no recommended for anybody without a doubt you know there are other systems like this on the market but you know i'd say this one is pretty good for what it is um kind of grumble you know i, I would actually take that out about us now because you know it's hitting the power levels that i like you know i mean i normally vape around 70 to 75 watts anyway on a sub ohm tank with you know with the, with the coils in and um, and this is hitting you know close to them kind of powers and flavors that i like so i would take that out and about just you know just for convenience you know what i mean um yeah absolutely mint so yeah i like it consider i've never been a pod user but there you go <laughs> you don't know till you try so to speak do you so anyway 
before I wrap this up, like I say, you can see I'm trying this new setup, but I'm mainly trying this new camera. Um, it is recording the D DV tape, so I'll have to upload it through Firewire to the video, to the video, to the computer, and then I can do my normal editing. You can actually connect it direct to the computer and record to the computer direct. I think Premiere Pro supports the video capture through Firewire, so I can record direct to the computer. So I'm just like still playing about with the options on it. So like I say, please leave a, a comment and just tell us is the picture and sound quality by the fact I'm not gonna say the sound quality because it's pretty echo in here but you know I'm using everything on this com on this camera just to see how it goes so you know please let us know what you think. If it's shite it's shite if it's not it's not you know no offence taken or anything you know to to, to, to try as um, it just saves you changing cameras for tabletop and this you can just do it all on this one camera so that's it just make my life easier. So anyway stop the friggin' rambling Ken anyway yeah this mod very good recommended yes there you have it so with that all being said folks i'm gonna lay bugger off and stop rambling and i shall see um what would whatever will come next in whenever that will be i will surely do a review and let you know about it but um, for the time being i have been kenny the vape and heed stay safe vape safe and i'll see you all very soon in the next one cheers now Bye.